I'll admit, I've been not as focused on discussing the videos in my commentary these last few months. But really, even before Ellie attacked me, I've been spending more time filming myself and my new team. I will try to fo focus on more serious video intelligence. Report. This is all of the documentation that we have stolen from the eyes regarding Greenden's history. This is the diplomacy packet that Greenden distributes to their neighbor powers. And this is every encounter between Greenden and the Burke family, as well as all branch intelligence. The, we don't like them very much. Are any of yours in there? Um, yeah. My first mission was against Greenden. Um, oh. Calm was 16. The team had been training for four years. This was four years after the current card. A lot changed in that time. The eyes surfaced in that time, I've learned. 2018. And was a thing ever since the first officially recognized Greenden encounters with the Berkey family, so it could have happened any time in the two years between cards. We never got a reliable explanation. The Federal Confederation Bureau is interesting. General Albright's policy was much more open, so... But you have a lot more wariness of the outside world than the previous two cards would suggest, given their naivete. Which tells me that I should probably figure out what the Federal Confederation Bureau was up to. Until the end. Do you sleep at all? No. So, that, um, that card that you, that you lost, um, that was the one with the clips from winter of 2014, right? The ones where you and Harry were in the hospital? Adrian told me that he was afraid Harry would die, so he started filming so he could remember him. It's a gruesome memory. Kimber made him stop before Anna actually had to cut Harry's fingers off. Still, it's pretty gross. So, um, I guess that in a way it's a, it's a good thing it's gone, right? That, that is true. I have saved us from ever having to remember Harry getting his fingers frozen off. I honestly cannot think of anything from that time that I really want to remember. So that was a public service, man. Well, you're welcome. Well, go back to sleep, Harry. Sun's barely up. You take it. Then Kimber and Harry won't freak out that I'm not filming. Yeah, are you sure? I mean, if it helps, then... I'm not seeing any of them today. There's no reason to. Fine, I guess. She sleeps a lot. I'm just trying to find something for her. She's doing it in her spare time. She's working with anti-inflammatory herbs. Look, I love Anna, but she can't fix what's wrong with Kimber. Hey, so I was going to go talk with the FRB convoy. No, Adrian. 
I was just... Why? Because they skeeved me out. That's exactly what Kimber said. Um, I'll get Trace. We'll do interviews. You think Trace is gonna keep you from making bad decisions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. hurting my heart, Kimber. I don't know. Is it Steely Dan? Is it Pentatonix? Nope. Pentatonix was a cappella. Oh my god, Adrian. Oh my god, we are the worst guardians. I'm gonna kill Harry. I'm... To be fair, I think that MP3 player was not gonna last very long anyway. Whew. So, from the riff... Excuse me. This is what you do for fun here? You're from the FRB. Guilty as charged. Kyle Everett said you couldn't speak English. Clearly, I can't. Keep that quiet, though. The only reason the FRB lets me work for them is because they think they can say anything around me. The hell? What do you want? Nothing. I was just walking through. My name's Shirts Yuyan. What's your name? Kimber. I'm Adrian, and that's Charlie. Do you want to sit with us? I mean, I'm just going to keep playing this song until Kimber gets it. Alright, so the melody goes a little like this. I've never heard this song before. Gardens come harvest. Oh, thank God. Why? What? Uh, Mr. Kyle Everett. And how are friends at the Federal Conflagration Bureau? <laughs> I told Callie they were here, and she called them vultures, which is an understatement. Now he's got me reading these testimonials. Which make him sound like a brand new toothpaste. Yeah, and they read like Borg fiction. Uh, <clears throat> Thanks to the FRB, we have achieved order and unity within our borders, and are now distributing our resources in a true intrastate economy. It's decidedly Borg-esque. Uh, <clears throat> you will be assimilated. <laughs> no, it's like Kyle Everett takes off his suit jacket and he just wires underneath. So wait, does that make Callie Picard? Because I feel like she could really rock that look. Harry, who are you going to put in the gardens? Um, I have no clue. Kitchens? No, we're gonna need them to can the harvest. Uh, all of our suggestions are in back. Uh, I'd say uh, pull team C from construction. Uh, you're team C, and you weirdly love construction. So, how are you settling back in? I have no clue what I'm supposed to say here, Trace. I'm here, aren't I? We were joking around a minute ago. It'll be good now that you're back. With Maddie back. It's fine. It's fine. Don't have to talk about her. <laughs> it's just that no one can know Trace. So you talk to Kimber? She wants me to keep recording. Everything. So, what do you want me to say? It's not... How about what you're feeling for a start? This is stupid. You didn't seem to think it was stupid the last three years. You didn't have some kind of... No, you were just doing it yourself. All of our suggestions suck. Take my team away from construction. Yeah, I'm not doing that. What the hell are those? I don't know. But Dr. Mira says you get to find out. Well, I'm almost done here. How about I come back to the lab with you and work there? No, I'm fine. You have anything to tell me?
He's already mourned her once, Trace. Knowing anything else would just hurt him. Listen. Can you, um, can you keep these for me? I'm trying to take a different approach to filming. Be an objective observer. I'll film the important stuff. 